I used the other mic, but little did I know that it was hidden underneath my blouse. So the whole 20 minutes I was talking, it was all for nothing because it didn't record anything. So now I just changed to this mic and restart again with my vlog for this Friday. Okay, first of all, I plan to go swimming today and I didn't make it because suddenly I fell asleep. Not really I fell asleep, but I felt sleepy. I felt sleepy. So I texted my housekeeper to say, I'm not coming to the pool, I'm going to sleep instead. But I didn't fall asleep, I just closed my eyes because I couldn't fall asleep. So now I'm going to speak Indonesian because this is going to be a new format for me that I will try into English and alternating into Indonesian, vice versa. Saya tadinya mau berenang tapi nggak jadi karena saya tiba-tiba merasa ngantuk. Jadi langsung saya SMS ke housekeeper saya bilang saya nggak bisa ke pool di situ karena saya udah ngantuk. Tapi saya nggak bisa tidur, saya kedipnya sebentaran tapi tidur sih nggak bisa. Jadi sekarang saya mau berbahasa Inggris dan alternate ke bahasa Indonesia. Oke, okay. so let me speak in English again. Jadi in, in, instead of me trying to use the caption in Indonesian, I'm going to speak in, in Indonesian. So daripada saya pakai caption bahasa Indonesia, mendingan saya ngomong aja langsung dalam bahasa Indonesia dari bahasa Inggrisnya. So anyway, oh ya mengenai teks itu di sini, oh I speak Indonesian now. Change to English first. So uh, regarding the texting, it's a it's a very common practice here in Indonesia because it doesn't cost. We also can use uh, WhatsApp, obviously in in the premises. So uh, we text each other here between my staff and I because it's impossible for me to scream and yell for them to come or to tell something every time I need them to do something. So we use text here, we use WhatsApp. Jadi saya di sini di rumah ini pakai text aja, pakai WhatsApp text karena kita saya nggak bisa berteriak untuk tiap kali saya perlu sesuatu saya mesti panggil housekeeper datang sini atau gardener datang sini untuk bikin sesuatu yang saya perlu. Jadi kita pakai teks di dalam rumah ini. Oke, okay, so uh, what I really like to share with you every day, every day, I mean on every vlog is something inspirational, even if it's just very, very small or, or, or uh, uh, snippet of a, of a story of uh, something inspirational or positive or something that is of serendipity nature or synchronicity like I did yesterday. Jadi saya ini video saya, saya tiap, kali, tiap vlog saya yang saya bikin, saya mau cerita sesuatu yang selalu ada maknanya, selalu ada sesuatu yang bisa membuat inspirasi, inspirasi ke uh, pemirsa. Okay. So anyway, you know what I noticed here, you know, this young uh, tourists, they come here, they are very adventurous, I must say, and I hats off to them. But wow, you know, they really explore Indonesia in that very, very um, basic way of how Indonesians live and what food Indonesians eat. It's quite uh, insightful because after all, that's the Indonesian way. But don't forget, you know, the, the, there are of course, like in any other countries, there are many different uh, uh, grades where of course not every Indonesian eat what these uh, uh, foreigners eat in the street or you know some of the food I don't even know and to tell you frankly I don't even eat the food from the street because of that stomach ache you know uh, after a fact but I noticed these foreigners they come here my god they eat all the food from the street and wow heads off to them but then afterwards they have this 
kind of uh, you know stomach ache that they spend most of the time of their time in the bathroom let's say so uh, but at the same time they are very daring to do it why not yes when i was young at their age also i did that with my american friends we went to bali we went to 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 surabaya you know with the train and the bus from gilimanuk to denpasar from Banyuwangi by boat to Gilimanuk. So yes, yes, I've been there, done that. Ya, yes, saya itu cerita yang orang-orang asing itu, apalagi yang anak-anak muda datang ke Indonesia semuanya pada makan di gerobak-gerobak kaki lima. Saya sebenarnya kagumi. Karena saya sendiri nggak bisa yang makan begitu. Karena takut sakit perut kan, kita-kita ini. Jadi saya juga mau supaya orang-orang luar tahu yang itu memang dasarnya makanan kita tapi enggak semua kita begitu uh, makanya saya kagumi orang-orang asing itu datang ke Indonesia bisa langsung makan di jalan gitu tapi habis itu mereka nanti sakit perut sampai berhari-hari ke kamar mandi terus jadi jangan kaget itu yang saya cerita dalam bahasa Inggris karena saya juga waktu seumur mereka wah saya juga Udah dia makan di, 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 di kaki lima, naik kereta api dari sini ke Surabaya, terus habis itu dari Surabaya ke Banyuwangi, naik bus sama orang-orang, sama teman-teman saya orang Amerika juga, makanya saya mengerti mereka. Dan dari Banyuwangi kita naik kapal ke Gilimanuk, dari Gilimanuk kita naik ke, uh, uh, bus lagi ke Denpasar. Aduh, jadi saya udah alami itu semua sih, bukan saya ngomong doang aja. Tapi semua ini saya udah alami waktu saya seumur mereka. <laughs> Tapi aduh hebat deh ini saya senang sekali lihat banyak di Indonesia itu kemajuan. I'm so happy to see the progresses that have been achieved in Indonesia. It's a big country. Indonesia memang negara yang besar. So it's not easy to uh, to to make the whole country functionable like in Singapore or even in Italy let's say or in UK or in any other country for that matter because Jakarta is a sprawling city and the country itself you know we have so many many islands but so far I see the progress is that we have now airports open everywhere in Indonesia no more like in the past where When you want to enter Indonesia, you just enter through Jakarta Airport. That's it. That was it. Now you can enter from Medan. You can enter from from Celebes. You can enter from Lombok. You can enter from Papua New Guinea. That we call we call Irian Jaya. Uh, itu saya bilang dalam bahasa Inggris yang kalau zaman dulu kita kalau orang asing kalau mau datang ke Indonesia selalu mesti masuknya melalui Jakarta aja. Dari airport Jakarta, nah, tapi sekarang udah boleh masuk dari Medan ya. Medan juga udah lama sih bisa masuk dari dari Lombok, bisa masuk dari uh, apa Pulau uh, Sulawesi, bisa masuk dari uh, apa Irian Jaya, segala macam itu yang saya cerita bahasa Inggris. Nah gitu, so anyway, um, it's so lovely to to see everything is 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 progressing progressing and i have a feeling i returned to indonesia at the right time because everything is so convenient here not like in the past where even imported stuff we were not allowed to have to have so saya bilang saya kayaknya balik ke indonesia ini tepat waktunya dimana semuanya sudah ada kalau zaman dulu kan barang-barang import belum bisa itu yang saya bas- uh, bilang dalam bahasa inggris Ya itu jadi apa senang sekali saya lihat. I'm so happy to see uh, Jakarta so you know rapidly, rapidly you know, modernizing and very, very functional. I must say it's 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 fantastic. The only thing. I don't go out. <laughs> ya, saya senang sekali lihat kemajuan di Jakarta. Tapi ya, uh, satu, salah satunya saya nggak 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 keluar. <laughs> saya saya nggak keluar rumah. Saya di, berdiam di rumah aja terus. <laughs> Karena pekerjaan saya cuma online sih ya. 
So since I'm back here one year, you know, first of all for me, what I have to prioritize, of course, is to is to build my life again. Uh, yeah, saya ingin apa dirikan bangun bangun bangunkan hidup saya kembali maksudnya oh, hidup saya ya kembali lagi di Indonesia jadi saya mesti itu dong utamakan dulu ini saya belum bisa berjalan-jalan berfoya-foya uh, rame-rame ke sini rame-rame ke sana saya belum bisa so you know I can't at the moment you know go out and have fun and be active socially because my uh, priority is to work at home and that's why I prefer to be at home. Jadi ini baru percobaan ya. Apa apa bisa enggak ini video dengan cara ini dari bahasa Inggris ke bahasa Indonesia gitu. So this is the first trial that I uh, do uh, in speaking English and then alternating to Indonesian language. So both uh, viewers can follow if it's not too pleasant to watch or to listen to please let me know in the comment below then i will stop or you rather have me caption but then caption it's in indonesian and uh, i think it's not so direct whereas if i speak it's more direct so please let me know in the comment below whether you like this kind of format where i speak english and then I translate it into Indonesian language instantly. Jadi tolong ya uh, di komentar di bawah kalau senang saya berbahasa Inggris habis itu saya langsung terjemahkan dalam bahasa Indonesia itu. Kalau senang dengan format ini uh, oke okay, saya akan teruskan. If you are happy with this kind of format where I speak two languages intermittently or not intermittently but alternately then please let me know. So this is my vlog for Friday. I want to see if it's good for the viewers. Uh, so, uh, jadi ini uh, vlog saya yang hari Jumat ini. Saya mau lihat apa uh, format ini bagus untuk pemirsa-pemirsa. Oke, okay? thank you so much for watching. Terima kasih atas uh, uh, subscribing uh, channel saya. And uh, see you soon. Uh, hari Minggu. Ya, sampai jumpa lagi hari Minggu. Terima kasih.